Shalom and welcome to our last episode of Living Supernaturally for this week. I hope this week has been um, encouraging and building for you as we have looked at such an important aspect of being in the fear of the Lord. Through the last few days, we have looked at the benefits and the blessings that we have when we fear the Lord. Today, we're looking at a benefit from Psalms chapter 34, verse 9. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, there is no want to those who fear him. There is no want to them that fear him. That's what our scripture talks about today. So fearing God means to love God. To love God means to obey God. And when we obey God, this, this sets us completely for being satisfied. So when we truly love God, we desire to obey Him. And when we obey Him, there cannot be want of anything. So what does this mean, no want? It means that there will be no lack. There wouldn't be any need that goes unmet, or rather that all of our needs will be satisfied and fulfilled in the Lord. So this verse expresses that while we revere and while we worship God, we, and as we stand in awe of Him, we are filled with the greatest satisfaction and the greatest fulfillment in every area of our lives. So when you walk in obedience, to God because of your fear of Him, you are in the right place at all times because you are in His will. And this gives you the assurance that all things are made perfect in Him. When our attention and focus is on loving Him, then we are not looking at the mundane and the temporal things of life. So the more we become aware of His presence, the more we forget the things that are temporal. When we get too busy in the things of life, when we are too preoccupied, we may lose our focus and our devotion. And this often leads us away from, from the fear of God and, keep, and moves us to fill this void and this gap. And we may seem wanting at that point of time. So David drew from this principle and makes a request, a plea to all of God's people to fear the Lord and reiterates that within this relationship of awe and wonder, all of other things will be secondary. We also see this in the New Testament in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, where, where it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. So when we stand in the fear of the Lord, we can be sure that we will, we will have no want, we will lack no good thing. All of our needs, all of our desires will be met in Him. We will be satisfied and completely satiated in Him. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank You that because in You we have all that we need. We lack no good thing. We are completely fulfilled in every area of our lives because of our relationship with you. May we grow to understand this principle that the more we love you, the more we worship you, you keep us completely filled and satisfied. Thank you for this privilege that we have. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.